everyone welcome back to my channel today I am doing a what's in my bag um, with the Vera Bradley VBU chambray satchel um, this is literally my favorite bag right now and I'm having a really hard time moving out of it but I know I need to move into something new um, I have some things I want to try out but I'm having such a hard time because this bag is so stinking cute and literally the perfect size um first of all the bag i want to explain why i love it so much the bag is so soft and plush it is not the more rough material that you feel on the other vera bradley bags like the vera totes um and some of the crossbodies this is extremely extremely soft and it's very plush it's not a thin crunchy material I'm not saying that the other bags are thin, but like this material just feels like very, very plush. And when you feel it, um, the material does not feel like rough at all. Um, another thing is the strap is a very, very good size strap. Um, obviously, it can be adjusted lengthwise, but as far as the size, it is not thin and it's really soft as well. Um, this is probably one of my favorite straps that I have found on the Vera, Vera Bradley bag. Um, it just sits really nicely on the shoulder and it doesn't slip off at all. So probably one of my faves. And then the handles on the satchel fit really, really well on the arm. It's not an uncomfortable feeling, whereas some of the other materials, they're a lot more rough to carry as a satchel and it irritates my, like my skin. So... I absolutely love the bag. Um, another thing is the zipper. The zipper opens really, really nicely. It's not hard to open, but it's not completely smooth either. It just has a really nice glide to it. Um, and then it, the way that it like caves in in the middle and kind of slouches is beyond cute. I don't like super stiff bags, although most of the very Bradley bags have some kind of stiffness to it that I own. But um, I do have a couple of slouchy ones, but this one has the best slouchiest look ever, especially when you wear it um, over the shoulder or even as a crossbody. Just it just looks like a really cute slouchy bag. Um, another thing is that it holds so much, but doesn't look like an oversized bag. It fits like the perfect amount and I probably, I definitely could fit more in here, maybe even a small sweater. Um, but everything fits in here so nicely and keeps everything really organized. It doesn't have a ton of compartments, but the way that everything is allowed to sit inside of the bag is incredible. So I'm going to show you what I have. Um, first and foremost, you can definitely fit a cell phone inside of this pocket really nicely. I typically put mine inside, but sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I just kind of throw it in there and go. I have the iPhone 11, I believe. I'm going to be honest. I'm not like up to date on technology at all whatsoever. So pretty sure this is the iPhone 11. And then um, I just keep my hand sanitizer off onto the side here. And then I'm going to open up the bag. And I have all of this inside. So, um, the first thing I have is the little pill case. I believe this is in the Lilac Medallion. I was given this as a gift, um, I want to say two years ago maybe, maybe more than that. I can't really remember, but it was given as a gift on Christmas. Um, and in here, obviously, I just have just some like emergency meds, some Tylenol, Zofran, and a mast cell stabilizer. So I have that. And then I have a little pouch. Um, this I like to keep like receipts that um, I need to save just in case I need to return something, especially those Vera Bradley receipts, just in case you need to make a return. It comes in handy just to have like a separate pouch for them to keep them organized. Otherwise, the ones that I shove in my wallet when I'm in a hurry just end up kind of getting tossed out. So this at least um, keeps it safe from being thrown out. And then I have the bigger 
um, velvet pouch. I absolutely love this pouch. Um, I got it at a secondhand store or thrift store and I'm obsessed with this thing. In fact, I'm ordering another one off the Facebook marketplace. So they're just really nice to have and they I love the compartments inside of them. So I just have a lip gloss in here. Usually I have a pill cutter, but I used that last night, so it's on my nightstand. And then a pull socks. And then on the other side, I have um, hand sanitizer wipes. And I have a reusable mask that I use as a backup. Um, in my car, I carry the disposable ones because I, I don't know, there's something about the reusable ones that just kind of gross me out. Um, of course, you can wash them, which we obviously do, but the, just like my mind, things, like there's still stuff on them and it just kind of grosses me out. So I only have it as a backup. Otherwise, all my other disposable masks are in the car um, and I keep those just in case I forget um the disposal mask and then of course I have the VB Petite Garden um wallet crossbody wallet I found this for a really good deal on eBay I also have it in the chambray but I'll show you that in another video um because I got these just recently um but I figured I would use this one instead of the chambray one um so this is a really, really nice size. I use it a lot. I've been using it a lot, especially when I'm running into like the post office real quick to ship off stuff. I just slip my phone here in the front compartment. In the front compartment, I still leave the um, crossbody strap in there because otherwise I'm going to lose it. I lose all my straps unless they're like attached or stuffed inside the bag. So I have that, but I can also still fit my phone in that pocket along with this and it still looks really really cute and fits really nicely and then I'm gonna open it up and it obviously has my cards and all my insurance cards and medical stuff um, and then it has like a nice change purse in the middle so it's just a really nice size. And then there's a little pocket here in the back, and that's usually where I shove like my quick receipts that need to get tossed out and that I eventually do at some point um, throughout the day. I just toss them out. So that all fits in there really, really nicely. And there's an ID spot right here, and there's an ID spot inside of here. So you have two spots for it. Um, and again, it just fits really nicely in here. And then in this zipper pocket, I just have Clorox wipes for the shopping carts and stuff. Um, some of our stores run out of them like super quickly or like our Walmart never has the wipes and it grosses me out. So I always carry a thing of portable Clorox wipes in my bag so that way, if that's the case, I can just wipe down the shopping cart. But 9 out of 10 times, Publix is out of the shopping cart wipes. Same thing with Sprouts. Our local grocery stores, I don't know. I swear people eat them, but they go really quickly. And then there's two pockets, a pocket here and a pocket here. So two other pockets on the inside. And in the first pocket, I just carry some liquid IV. Um, this is a really good hydration multiplier, especially if you have to limit your fluid intake or if you have low blood pressure. This stuff works really, really, really well. Um, and I carry it with me, especially to um, pulmonary rehab because I'm obviously working out, but I have really low blood pressure and I have to be careful with fluids, although um, I had a surgery that hopefully helped that issue, but this stuff is really, really great and it works really well. It has really um, important electrolytes in it and I have found that I feel so much better if I drink one or two of them over the course of a couple of days, so you just throw it in water and it's really great. 
And then I have the small bottle in the other pocket of the Bath & Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom um, lotion. This is the travel size, obviously. I love this lotion. I don't use a whole lot of Bath & Body Works products aside from their hand sanitizer and their lotion because I'm really allergic to their hand soap and um, the body soap just makes my skin super dry. And I can only use certain scents in the Bath & Body Works stuff. I don't know what it is in them that's different, but um, I can use the Japanese Cherry Blossom hand sanitizer and the, and the body lotion and I'll be fine. But some of the other scents really irritate my skin, but this is fine. Plus it's my favorite scent, so it kind of works. Um, and then I have the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Travel Perfume. I really want to get um, a Bath & Body Works like fall perfume scent, but when I went to the Bath & Body Works the other day, not my usual one, they did not have any of like the really good fall scents, so I'm going to check out the one by our house and see if I can find it, but um, this is what I have right now, and it smells really good. And I think that's it in there. I definitely still have quite a bit of space left. Like, I have all of this room right here that I could fit um, more stuff in. Obviously, I have my pill pouch and receipt pouch in there. But then I have all this space at the top, too. I just don't pack it to the brim, yeah. um, typically. And then I have to show you what it looks like on... This is how I carry it as a um, as a shoulder bag. I do not like my bags like super high up to where my arm rests on it. It drives me crazy. I don't like my arm hitting on anything. And this just gives like enough space to where it's still, there we go. It's still um, like right above my, or right below my shoulder um, elbow, but it's not touching it. And so when I go this way, I can sling it back and my arm is still not touching it. So I really like that. I just don't like having my arm resting on something it, um, and like it like sticking out because I tried it shorter and I did not like it at all. So this is literally perfect. And the way that it slouches is just so nice. Like I love the way that slouches. And then if I'm running into the grocery store real quick um, and don't feel like taking out my um, my wallet. I can just scoop it up easily and run in to wherever really quick. And it still looks super cute. And then as a crossbody, I've not worn it too much as a crossbody because I just love it as a shoulder bag. Um, now I'm gonna mess up all my straps. The strap settings that I have on. But it works really nice as a crossbody as well and still maintains that really cute slouchy look. But yeah, I have not used it much as a crossbody. I might have to, it looks really cute. But again, the way that it falls bothers me because I don't like my arm resting on it. Um, I'm sure I could adjust the length even more to kind of um, accommodate that. My pickiness. <laughs> there we go. That's better. So that's it as a crossbody. I really, I just love this bag. It's the thing is, is that right now it's fall and I'm very much still like a seasons person, even though Florida doesn't really have much of a season thing going on for itself. But I like to kind of follow suit with that. And this really isn't I don't want to say a fall bag at all. Um, however, it does look really cute with like the maroon colors in the jean. I feel like it's a light enough color where it can really pair well with jeans. And it still looks cute with like the darker maroon and beige colors that you typically find fall seasons. Even like a, a rusty, a rusty yellow or mustard yellow. So I guess it could work for fall. Um now I want to try it. It's going to make it hard to move out of the bag, but this is hands down my favorite, and I really need to try to 
move out of it so I can give other dogs a try. But it's just so cute. Absolutely love it. So I think I will be doing another what's in my ba bag video shortly when I move out of this. And the next video you'll see will probably be of a outlet haul. Um, that outlet haul will have, I have some stuff in there that I'm not going to include in that video, specifically the holiday dogs, because I'm going to do a whole separate haul for that one. Because um, I snacked some of the pieces when they first um, released them in the store. But they did not have the blanket I wanted and they did not have the Vera tote that I wanted still at that point. So later on this week, I'm going to go and see if my store finally has those in stock and then grab them and then I'll do like a collective haul of that. But otherwise, I have plenty of other stuff from the Vera Bradley outlet store that I can show you guys in my next video. So I'm going to be saying goodbye to this one soon, temporar temporarily. And... Maybe I'll end up moving back into it. I have a feeling that I'm just going to keep finding myself using it again, even though the season is changing. But I love this. Highly, highly recommend one if you don't have it. It's just a perfect size bag, especially if you travel. I've used this quite a few times traveling, um, just within our state, not going out of state. So I can't really give recommendations on that or a review on that part. Um, and then it's really good if you're a mom and you have a lot of stuff to pack. I've thrown some snacks in here. I have thrown what else is in here? A couple of small like um, Gatorades. Um, I put a whole bottle, like a pill bottle in here. Um, I put something else in here for my daughter. I can't remember. But it just holds so much but without looking absolutely ridiculous and this chambray goes well I think with denim you wear denim throughout the fall so I guess it could work as a fall bag too the pattern on the inside the darker pattern is a navy blue which I guess could also work and the colors while they are extremely vibrant they aren't they don't scream like summer or spring I think if I were to if they were to have made this bag in a petite garden pattern, I feel like maybe that would have not worked for the fall. Um, I'm still looking for the petite garden crossbody, but I really wish they would have made this in a um, petite garden pattern because that would it would be absolutely beautiful. I still need to get again the crossbody, and I need to find the um, the tote bag. I have a, the other tote bags, the chambray and the blush fig, and I don't know if those could be used as an everyday bag. I see some people using them as a work bag, but I don't work, so I don't know how that would work as like an everyday bag for me, especially like going to the store or something. I don't carry large bags typically, but I don't know. I'm going to have to see, but I really hope that Vera Bradley brings this back and I really hope they make it in a satchel. I may have to send them an email and just be like, hey, by the way, um, because this stuff does float around. Like you still see it floating around. It's just not as often. And I feel like now it's such a popular um, wanted pattern and style. So um, yeah, that's my review. I hope to see you guys in my next video and thank you all for watching.